all right in this video we are going to be doing a new and complete weapon tier list in grand peace online let's get straight into the tier list okay let's not waste any time with this and get straight into it so the first tier we're going to do is actually one sword style since you can't really rank this without ranking the fighting style and this isn't a fighting style tier list so i simply have every katana ranked from worst to best from left to right starting off with normal katana um the sky katana reuse katana sea beast katana kraken katana uh, the moon, well, not the moon, the, the whatever, each each of the 2SS katanas, whatever they're called, and that's every katana. Um, then our first real tier is F tier. Now, I only have two weapons in F tier, which are Festival Shield and Santa's Bells. The reason Festival Shield is in here is because it sucks as a weapon. It doesn't do very good damage. The damage scaling is awful. It's a slow weapon with very, very low range. Actually, I think it has decent damage scaling. I'm not positive, but it's still not great. It has very, it's a slow weapon with low, low range, which is absolutely horrible. I believe it's the only weapon in the game that does that, giving you slow M1 speed at close range, which absolutely absolutely sucks um and both of its skills are not very good the counter is awful likely one of the worst counters in the actual game and then its grab is okay at best so uh, f tier is where it belongs to be honest it has no grinding capabilities and no pvp capabilities so yeah then we have bells which bells is again horrible damage scaling it's in like melee range pretty much and it only has one skill and that's to heal sure the heal may be decent but it's all it can do and if you're really rating that as a weapon as a whole it does a pretty bad job of being a weapon their bells so yeah onto our next tier which is d tier now this tier it's up for interpretation don't get too mad when you see it immediately but it actually um you have Basento in d tier now Basento for pvp i do believe is d tier if you're talking pve if you're talking grinding it's probably way higher up probably a or b tier if we're talking for grinding but for pvp it's just it's given a guard break that's super easy to pv anybody with half a brain can do it and it's given a multi-hitting move that is also a guard break but but that move sucks so bad that when you use it you don't have m1 priority and the skill doesn't have knockback so you are going to get punished if you use it you just will unless you chuck it out for one second and guard break somebody with a lucky guard break then you're gonna get punished so it's just almost never worth going for sometimes very very rarely it is but it's almost never worth going for so you're pretty much given two pretty bad skills and me personally I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of heavy swinging weapons so yeah it's it's again heavy swinging weapons aren't bad it's just me personally i don't like them all that much um next we have kiribachi which kiribachi i feel like this is self-explanatory it has two skills with huge wind-ups and no hyper armor again a heavy a heavy swinging weapon but its base damage isn't very high it might have pretty decent damage scaling but its base damage is actually fairly low for a heavy weapon so that's uh that's kind of interesting but um yeah its skills again no hyper armor big wind ups they're okay skills but when you look at them in that regard and you can get them canceled super super easily they're just not good skills because you really won't find the opportunity to use them in pvp especially especially considering the fact that they are close range skills it, it really ruins them to be honest so yeah that's why it finds itself in d tier and then cupid's wand does a little heal with a little bit of knockback it's not a very good skill it doesn't do great damage it doesn't heal all that much it's okay um and then the thunderbolt is very easy to avoid and if more people use this in pvp it would be way easier to pb well okay it would be more common knowledge of how to pb it but um yeah you're you're gonna get perfect blocked if somebody knows how to perfect block that because it has a fat wind up and makes itself very obvious of when it's gonna be used um next we have c tier now again this tier might surprise you at the start but just hear me out because we are looking at these weapons at a overall standpoint it's it's the entire weapon it can't just be one thing so starting off with flowers flowers is a bit of a shocker to be this low but that's because it has no value past its true combo extender past that it is a horrible weapon with horrible base damage pretty bad damage scaling and it has a useless skill which is to just give you a little bit of stamina which i personally have never noticed i've never noticed the amount it gives and so it's pretty much an entirely useless skill bad m1s nobody uses cc for its m1 or not cc flowers for its m1s 
and it is simply just used for a true combo extender. So if you want to use it, switch to something that requires strength like Fishman Karate or Black Leg, sure, by all means, but you can't judge the weapon based off of a specific build that it uses. The weapon itself is bad. All right, that's just how it works. Or it's a mid because at, at its best, it is it can be used for a true combo extender. But that being its best is pretty mid. So yeah. Um, next we have the pole, which falls into under similar reasoning as the flowers, as it's only used for very hyper specific things. You only use it for its stun, and that is it. You're not using it for anything else. Uh, its skills are subpar pretty bad ish and um yeah you're not you're not using it for anything other than um it's it's done so yeah that that's why golden pole is where it is moria scissors is another weapon that's kind of mid it doesn't really have very good skills um its grab is mid again everything in c tier is fairly mid and its other skill is a decent guard break, but that's about all it offers. Cupid's Battle Axe, um, again, two okay skills, makes an okay weapon, decent damage scaling, decent range. And Crab Cutlass, I was very conflicted on whether or not I should put this in D or C, but Crab Cutlass, I decided to put it in C because you can actually use its guard break somewhat effectively, and its other skill can true combo certain skills. Like, for example, if you um, up tilt into the other skill that it has that isn't the guard break, I can't remember what it's called, the little tornado we ish one and then you look down and do a, a he can high can whatever you want to call it 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 is true i believe so yeah you can use it as a true way of getting off skills and its other guard break is a okay guard break the only problem i have with it now is obviously well two problems obviously you can't combo extend with it anymore after the nerf but you also it can get pb'd very easily if you're fighting someone who's decent with it so it's it's not a great weapon but it's okay then you have B tier. B tier, you have Gravity Blade, Golden Hook, and Hollow's Fang. Um, the uh, Gravity Blade Frenzy honestly really, really carries this. Gravity Field is an okay skill. You know, it's not great. It's okay. Uh, Gravity Frenzy does an insane amount of damage, and if you PB someone, you're pretty much guaranteed a stupid amount of damage and an M1 combo after it, so that's really, really, really good skill. So I think that slides it into a solid B tier. It has good scaling, decent range, all of that good stuff. Golden Hook has a very short range, but has decent damage scaling, and that grab does a ton, a ton of damage. I do believe I put Hook a little too high. I think I maybe should have put Hook in C tier, but regardless, it's where it is now. But yeah, I do think I should have put Hook in C tier. Um, then we have Hollow's Fang. Hollow's Fang is a very, very unique weapon, but it's not great. It has short range, pretty okay, badish scaling because it's a fast swinging weapon. And um, it does have a, weapon, a skill that can be used as a combo extender, even though it's very situational and has a very good guard break, in my opinion. So, you know, it slides itself into B tier. Uh, a tier, now these are the really, really good weapons. You have Elo's Hammer, really good scaling, really good damage, heavy hitting guard breaks, two skills that are guard breaks that are both very good skills. Uh, has a lot of combo ability to it actually and it can almost work with any build so it's a really really good weapon to use very heavy hitting very solid next you have shusui which is a i believe a medium swinging speed weapon so it's a again pretty decent but i just really really do like um, its guard break i think its guard break is super easy to use and then its other skill that comes out quick the little air cut the crescent cut whatever it's called um it can be used really really easily if you just chuck it out it goes out so fast it's pretty much free poke damage so i really do like that neptune's trident um pull can sometimes catch people off guard though, a, though it is a little hard to use but it has a really good base damage for a really fast speed which is really nice and its guard break is also really really good so i do like trident as well um, then we have CC and PCC. Now, P CC and PCC, I do believe I put them high. I don't think they really deserve A tier, but I didn't want to make a lot of people mad because I know a lot of people are diehard fans of CC and PCC, but whatever. Um, they have really good M1s. That's some they got across the board. Good speed, good scaling, all that good stuff. So that's really nice. Um, their skills are mid. One of their skills is completely useless. The heal is honestly pretty useless. But the flash freeze is okay. It's a pretty decent skill. Uh, I don't think it should be A tier. I think it should be B tier, to be honest. But I don't want to anger people and put it in B tier because I know people can argue for it pretty well. So I decided to put it in A tier. Then you have Demon Jester Scythe and Festival Lance. Demon Jester Scythe is all around a solid weapon. A good M1 speed, good range, 
really good guard break that pulls people in. That's pretty much free damage and a free guard break. And then you it has another skill that does decent damage, but you can't do too much with. You can sometimes combo extend with it, but it's not true. But um, yeah, you, you can do it sometimes. Uh, then you have Festival Lance, which again, it's like a way better flowers in my opinion because you can literally just true combo extend with it but it actually does decent damage and it has a decent speed and its other skill isn't completely completely useless some people find things to do with that skill whether that's block attacks in some weird way or just slam people into the ice which also works i guess so you know what in my opinion it's just a little bit it's a it's not a little bit but it just makes up for where flowers lacks extremely better damage scaling better range better combo extender it's just it's doing everything better so i put it in a tier then we have the best of the best weapons in my opinion which is s tier we have soul cane kraken greatsword and gauntlets okay first soul cane it's given in my opinion the best counter in the game it puts them in stun does decent decent damage and it has i believe an infinite range so that's really good um, it is not hard to punish and it is not hard to use this counter at all especially another reason that counter is just so 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 good it's the only way you can tell someone is countering is by the sound cue which is very hard to pick up on since the counter looks extremely similar to the block it is very easy to mix up the block with the counter unlike things like gura where the counter is super super noticeable since they cross their arms this one looks really similar to the block so it's super super easy to mix up with the block which is why i love soul Kane's counter in my opinion it's my favorite counter in the game but um yeah then you have its other skill which i don't even think can be pb'd at all because it puts you in a little bit of stun and then it multi hits for a good amount of damage and you tp past them it's literally free damage and if you're good enough you can sometimes get a skill out of it or depending on what that skill is you can get a skill out directly after so it's really just free damage and it's good damage at that not bad by any any means so it's a good counter and a guaranteed easy skill that is a fast swinging weapon so i absolutely love soul k and i put it in s tier then we have kraken great sword which is a very heavy hitting weapon with a very good guard break that hits twice both parts are guard breaks it pulls people in and it does really really good damage kraken great sword i believe has the best damage scaling in the game so it or no it has the best sword mastery i believe damage scaling in the game and it also has the highest base damage so it's really really good and its other skill um, does a lot of damage it's a multi-hitting move and you can get m1s out after it so it's a very 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 solid move if you pb somebody or if you catch somebody in just enough stun it doesn't have that big of a wind up so again it's a very very good skill and i like it a lot so i put kraken great sword in s then we have one of the most broken weapons in the game which are the gauntlets the gauntlets don't scale off of sword so they're not really a sword but they scale off of strength now this weapon has a pretty good guard break now there is one problem with the guard break it is very easy to perfect block but other than that it is a very 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 good guard break because you can catch people off guard with it which really makes up for that fact and if you have the right fruit maybe like paw or if you use roku dashes depending on the dash that you have you can easily get m1s after that guard break which is phenomenal absolutely insane then you have the grab which can be up tilted into and still knock people back which can't be said for a lot of the grabs in the game this grab does super super good damage and so does the other guard break both skills are guard breaks the grab is a guard break and the slam is a guard break super good skills and not to talk about the best damage scaling out of any weapon here you can put an insane amount of strength into these and you can do an insane amount of damage i believe it's the best damage scaling maybe kraken great sword competes but i'm not positive i think this has the best so it does a stupid amount of damage and it's really really good so yeah gauntlets is amazing the only con to it is it's short range that is the only thing holding it back from probably being the best weapon in the game easily so yeah a lot of people will say it's the best weapon regardless but yeah um anyway that's it for this tier list i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next video peace